why there is no wipe data factor reset option in recovery mode of some Android phones. For example, I got this phone recently and when I boot into recovery mode, there are only 11 options to select instead of 12. I'm just curious, is this a new security thing or what? If so, how do I reset or wipe data factor reset without logging into the phone? Well, if there are any specific models or circumstances where this option appear to be missing, it might have been due to user interface changes, regional variations or specific device configurations. Manufacturers sometimes update their user interfaces and settings menus with new software updates which could alter the location or naming of certain options. Entering download mode on a Samsung device. Easy peasy. Just follow these steps and make sure to subscribe and like the video. Make sure your device is powered off. It's crucial to have some peaceful moments with your device. It deserves a little rest too, you know, while the device is off. Press both volume down and volume up button while still holding them. Connect your Samsung to your PC using a USB cable. Now, the last step is to press the volume up button and your Samsung device would have successfully dived into download mode. This tool helps you to bypass factor reset protection on your Samsung phone powered by Android operating system and the latest security patch level as well. Also, it allows the flash of Samsung stockroom and the latest version was launched. An NDA erase refers to the process of erasing the contents of NAND flash memory chip. NAND flash memory is a type of non-volatile storage used in various electronic devices such as USB drives, SSDs, memory cards and smartphones. When you perform an NDA erase, all the data stored in the NAND flash memory is reset to its default state, effectively wiping the device clean. This process is often used when you want to clear all the data from a storage device and start afresh, or when you encounter some issues with your device data and you want to reset it to a known state. The method to perform an NDA race may vary depending on the specific device or the platform you are using. In some cases, the device itself might have a built-in option to initiate an NDA race. While in another situation, you may need to use a specific software or tools provided by the device manufacturer. When the device attempts to boot after an NDA race and cannot find the necessary bootloader and system files, it gets stuck in a boot loop. The device repeatedly tries to start but fails because it lacks the required instructions and data to complete the boot process successfully. These files include the kernel, essential drivers, and other crucial system applications. You will probably see a frustrating polite error message pop up on the screen, moving like, oopsie daisy, Android failed to load properly, but hey, they give you options to break this never ending cycle. You can go for the basic try again option and hope this time the Android system gets its act together and finally loads properly. Now, here comes the ultimate nuclear option, the factory reset, wipe data choice. It's like hitting the reset button on life, erasing everything and taking your phone back to square one. Congratulations on completing the sacred ritual of the factor reset. You have just unleashed the digital equivalent of the grid flood upon your poor device. Now, it's time to rebuild your virtual arc and navigate the treacherous series of software updates and app reinstallation. First thing first, celebrate this momentous occasion. You just wiped all those memories and pesky files that were weighing down your device. It's like a digital detox of your phone. The SPA day for bits and bytes. Next, prepare yourself for the most thrilling adventure of modern times, the reinstallation spree. As you install your favorite apps, be sure to whisper encouraging words to your device. It's been through a lot. It might be feeling a bit disoriented. Tell it things like, you can do it. Just a few more apps to go, buddy. Don't worry, you'll be filled with useful and clutter in no time. Now comes the fun part. Remembering all those passwords you had saved before the reset. It's like mind-bending puzzle trying to piece together your online life from fragments of memory. Just embrace the chaos and try not to lock yourself out of your accounts too many times. 
as you go about setting up your device, take a moment to ponder the absurdity of it all. Humans created these tiny intelligent machines and now we are pondering to their digital needs like they are little electronic pets. They are their dear smartphone, going to be alright, have some cute apps and a fresh batch of updates. That's the spirit. And remember, it's perfectly normal to feel a bit lost after the factor reset. The device may seem different, but deep down, it's still the same old faithful gadget. Embrace the change and don't be afraid to explore the new possibilities that lie ahead. And who knows, maybe this time, it will be slightly filled with less cut videos and more with productivity. But let's be real, probably not. Happy Tech Rebuilding.